Hi guys. Hopefully it's not too dark in the garage, but I'm gonna show you guys what I made from my uh, my Cub Cadet tractor. I always wanted to uh, have this leaf blower. Instead of pushing it and walking all over the damn yard, I wanted something easier. You know, it's, on the days that I just want to blow the yard, I don't need to be walking it back and forth. I got a hill and it's starting to bother my leg a little bit. So, so anyway, this is my Gravely five horse leaf blower okay it's an awesome little machine it's got a Honda engine and uh, that's my Cub Cadet over here and I've been looking on the internet for a hookup for for the machine a little attachment and I found a few things but I don't like the way they are too expensive too complicated too much money and I said you know what I'll show you guys how to make one it's very simple I looked around the basement looked around the garage and I found a couple pieces of steel I got a little square piece of steel little uh, one and a quarter by one and a quarter square tubing aluminum it's even nicer you don't have to paint it won't rust I drilled two holes and I bolted it to the to the handlebars of the machine I found this this pipe here that's about a one inch uh, aluminum bar I used aluminum bar because that's what I found in the in the garage so it works and uh, and that's my hitch over here for the tractor so I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and I'm going to show you how I hooked it up. Okay, I crawled on this side of the machine. My hands are free to put this together. What you need is two little pins, half inch pins. I got one, one's too short because I use this, uh, this uh, piece of aluminum, but I'm sure they make a longer pin. If not, my, uh, my bolt worked just fine. So what do you do? You take the, the aluminum bar. And I bent it, I used my cutting torch, and I, and I bent it a little bit, put some heat to it, and I bent it to the angle I needed right here. So I'm going to bolt this up to the machine. If I had my pen, it would be even easier, just put a pen and powder pen. But this will work. So I go shopping. You got this piece here. I'm going to put it underneath. That's it, two parts. I want the wheel off the front wheel off the ground, which it is. So it can't go down and hit me or hit the tractor. And it's off the, the wheel's off the ground. Then just to make sure, because I got a hill, I want it to be up a little bit higher. I'll just grab a bungee cord like this and hook it to my tractor. There you go. Simple as, as you can get. Two pieces, this piece, this piece, bungee cord, two pins, and uh, my price, well, when I go to Home Depot and buy a pin, it'd be like three bucks. And over here, you can see the front tire is off the ground, nice and high. It's about two inches off the ground. So I'll go outside and I'll uh, take this for a little ride to show you actually runs pretty good, it rides pretty nice, backs up great. Also what's nice with this short bar is that I can just grab the throttle over here and throttle it up or throttle it down as I'm going around places I don't want to blow too hard. So it makes it perfect. The only thing I can't control is the uh, is the chute deflector, but I guess I can live with that. And the best, the way I put it this way is because I wanted the uh, the tractor to be cutting the grass or mulching the leaves and the discharging on the right side and the leaf blower is also blowing on the right side so I don't want to be trying to fight myself here doing leaves I want to be blowing all the same way that's why I mounted it this way alright guys thanks for watching have a good night